Hey guys, welcome to Starter Hacks. So in this episode, we're going to talk about patient lists. We can customize ones that can show you different things like uh, your daily census, ones that are for interesting cases, one for, let's say, patients that were recently discharged. Obviously, we want lists for our census, uh, for the group that we're working in, that will be automatically pulled into our group, and we can make lists that are uh, based on wards or even an entire hospital census list. So we're going to go through all of those, so stay tuned. <laughs> Welcome everyone. Okay, so this time we're going to talk about patient lists here. So to get to the patient list menu, you just have to go up here and click on the patient list icon. That'll bring you to this. And when you first enter Cerner, you may not have any lists and you'll get a blank screen like this. So how do we create them? Okay, so let's go into this little list maintenance bar here. We'll click on that icon. <clears throat> As you can see, there's no available list. There's no active list. And so we have to create one. So let's go to new. And let's say the first list we want to do is a entire hospital census. Every single patient that has been admitted to the hospital, we want them on our list. So how do we do that? We go into location and we double click on that. That will bring us to this. Find your hospital on this list of directories and we will be at Lionsgate Hospital. So let's go here. Let's expand that. And if we just click on this one, it'll tell us every single patient that has ever been admitted to a hospital, including people who are inpatient or outpatient, going through like uh, chemotherapy sessions, everything. So we don't necessarily want all of that. So we're going to expand that a little bit. And now we will only pick the wards that are inpatient wards. So let's go through all of this. So I know that these are all inpatient wards. So we will go through all of these. And that is all the inpatient wards at Lionsgate Hospital. We want to avoid the ambulatory care surgery centers. Um, we do want emergency medicine patients. So let's add those into the mix. Um, we will also want ICU. Let's do PACU as well. Those are people who are coming out of recovery into from the OR. Okay, so that pretty much covers all of the inpatients at our hospital. So now we want to go into discharge criteria. So we want not everybody who has ever been to Lionsgate Hospital. So we want only patients that have been that have not been discharged. So that brings us to this button here highlight and we will delete all of this and we'll just call this Lionsgate Hospital or LGH inpatients. Okay and so we'll go finish. So now we have the available list LGH inpatients. We're going to highlight and move that into the active list and go OK. Okay, the next list we're going to talk about is the complete custom list. And I use this all the time for billing purposes. You can also use these lists for, let's say, teaching cases or interesting cases or maybe interesting deaths or for M&Ms. Um, these are all custom lists that you can you have full control over. You manually add patients. They will not fall the off the list unless if you manually take them off. And so that's a really uh, useful list and you can make them for anything you'd like. So how do we make these? Let's go to new and we're going to make a custom list. Okay. And this is probably one of the easiest uh, lists to make. All we have to do is assign the location. So we're going to assign to Lionsgate LGH Lionsgate Hospital. We'll expand that and we want everybody inside the hospital regardless. And we're just going to call this list, let's say, daily billing list. Okay, and we're going to finish. So we don't care about the admission or discharge criteria. We want everyone in this list, okay? So we're going to finish this up. And we're going to bring this over from um, the daily billing list to over here called active list. We're okay. And you'll see here on the tabs that this just popped up. So before we did the inpatient list, now we did the 
daily billing list. As you can see, there is nobody on this list and that nobody will actually appear on this list until I actually assign and place people in this list. So how do we do that? Let's say if I was taking over uh, patients on two east and I was just looking after these four or five patients here. Okay, so I want them on my list. How do I do that? Let's right click on them and we will add to patient list and daily billing list. There we go, we selected it. And now when we refresh, there they are. So that's awesome. So that's how we get them into their daily billing list and that will help you immensely. And when you're done with patients and you're wanting them to be removed, let's say they're discharged and you don't want them on your list anymore, you can right click on them and you can remove the patient from your list and there they're gone. Okay, so hopefully that'll help as well. Okay, so the next list we're gonna do is a particular list for your service. So let's say if you're a hospitalist like I am, um, let's figure out how we can uh, make a list. So we're going to link list maintenance. Um, we're going to go to new. Uh, we're going to find a provider group. And through this provider group, we're going to look for Lionsgate Hospital Hospitalists. Okay. Um, and then in counter types, we will be only doing the ones that we, or checking the ones that, uh, where we might have patients, let's say the emergency department, uh, inpatient units, um, we may have some ALC patients, uh, we may have some residential care patients. So we're going to put check mark those ones, medical services. So if we, let's say I'm a hospitalist, but we cover, let's say, cardiac surgery, or we might cover cardiology uh, patients, anything that you might uh, be covering with your service, I would check off. Um, so that is medical services, locations, obviously you'd want to check off the ones that in Skate Hospital, there we go. Um, let's expand that and expand that. And I would recommend only checking off the ones that where you're just going to be covering the, the wards that you're going to be covering. I wouldn't check off the um, ones that are for outpatients, otherwise you will end up having a lot of people on that list. Um, and the other one is the discharge criteria. So obviously you don't want anybody who has um, been discharged. So we will check off only patients that have not been discharged. So click on that one. And then you can see here, they've already just defaulted to LGH Hospice. And we just finish here. Okay, the last list that we're gonna do is a discharge list that may or may not be helpful to you. These are patients that have just been discharged from the hospital um, and they automatically fall off your list uh, if you belong to a group. However, sometimes you want to recover those patients for for example, for follow-up. So how we do this, we go into the uh, this menu here again and we find a new custom list and we will find a provider group again and we'll go next. We want the LGH Hospice, um, which is right here. Um, and we want time criteria or the discharge criteria. Uh, we want only patients that have been discharged within the last, let's say one day. Okay. Um, and we would go through the locations again. Um, so at Lionsgate Hospital. So let's expand that and expand that and you can go through and pick through the uh, wards that you want um, that list to come from um, and counter types again we would want uh, only the emergency patients inpatients uh, and so forth and then the medical service that you would normally cross cover discharge one day okay and then we finish that and we can move that over here. All right, so now we have a list of all the patients that have been discharged. And one day when you refresh that, if there are people there, they will just show up. Okay, guys, one last thing we're going to do is the modification of your daily billing list. So if you want to remove somebody from the list, just right click and remove patient from list. With time, these billing lists and other lists will be very useful for your day-to-day -day practice. So that's it for now.